WUFT News. An icon is now eligible for sainthood. Coming up, we'll tell you more on the Pope's decree. And later, the story of how one local girl is changing the lives of those with cancer. But now, after a warm couple of months, the first freeze of the season is possible tonight. That's our top story. It's December 18th. I'm James Torres. President Obama addressed the nation this afternoon to outline his agenda for the rest of his term. He took some tough questions about terrorism and the massive spending bill Congress passed today. NBC's Edward Lawrence reports. Now the president leaves for a 16-day family vacation in his home state of Hawaii, and on the way, he meets with the families of the victims in the San Bernardino attack. The Florida man who flew his gyrocopter onto the lawn at the U.S. Capitol says he plans to run for Congress. Douglas Hughes says he will run against the South Florida Democrat, however, he won't say whom. His intentions came to light Wednesday when his attorney asked a judge to lift some of Hughes' restrictions so he could pursue his political interest. Hughes, in the meantime, is scheduled to be sentenced next April for his gyrocopter stunt. And the Alachua County Supervisor of Elections Office has confirmed the candidates for Gainesville City seats in 2016. Candidates for Gainesville Mayor include Lauren Poe, Donald Shepard, and incumbent Mayor Ed Bratty. The District 4 Commission seat will also be on the ballot in 2016, and those candidates are John Newman, Adrian Hayes Santos, and Jim Konish. The election is set to take place next March. Around the holidays, we're extra thankful, usually for time with loved ones and maybe some presents under the tree. Now imagine if you'd feel if you were given the gift of life itself. Well, WUFT's Ashton Reese met a young woman who does her best to spread that joy year-round. Now, Emery's mother remains in remission this holiday season after a successful transplant. Well, WUFT News First at 5 is just getting started. Coming up in sports, we will cap off the top 10 plays of Florida football and show you which one made number one. The season Florida's had, they should have a pretty decent recruiting class for next year. Yeah, I definitely agree. Thanks, Jonathan. All right, well, hang on, Jonathan, don't go anywhere just yet. Jenna, you either. You're going to get mad at me for this, by the way. So, a little bit of context. Jenna, Jonathan, and uh, Rebecca as well. This is our last show. And myself and some of the fellows around WUFT uh, decided we wanted to let you go with the bang. Let's, let's roll this video here. Johnny. So, <laughs> like they said, congratulations, guys. Uh, it's going to be uh, a shame to not have you here with us anymore, but we wish you the best of luck, and thank you for everything you've done for WUFT as far. Thank you. All Thanks right, well, you. give Rebecca a little, uh, uh, Jen a little bit of time to recover. Rebecca, let's get one last check in the weather with you. Rebecca, one last time. Thank you, and WUFT News First at 5 returns after the holidays, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.